Hi, my name is Kelvin. In this video, we're going to take a look at Splunk Enterprise and how we can utilize it for a syslog server. First of all, you need to head over to the Splunk website and download Splunk Enterprise, any of the editions. For this demonstration, I am using the free edition. Once you've downloaded Splunk, go ahead and sign in. you should now be on the dashboard of Splunk Enterprise. For us to be able to use Splunk as a syslog server for, let's say, Cisco devices, what we need to do is we need to click on Find More Apps. And in the Find Apps by Keyword Technology, etc., we just type in Cisco. And we can see a few add-ons here. So the add-on that we're interested in for Cisco devices is Cisco Networks add-on for Splunk Enterprise. So as you can see, I already have this installed, but you probably don't. So go ahead and click install. You will then be asked to restart your Splunk system once that's been installed. Once it's been installed, sign back into your Splunk, we head over to settings, data, data inputs. Click on data inputs and that screen should load. Head down to UDP and we're going to listen on UDP for syslog, which is by default. You can also listen on TCP, but for this demonstration we will use UDP. And what we need to do is we need to click Add New. So once presented with the screen, keep the setting as UDP and the default port is 514 unless you're using otherwise. The next two fields, source name, override and only accept condition from, they are optional. Click Next. So now we can see the input settings. What we need to do is select source type and type Cisco and enter. Select Cisco iOS. Leave everything else as default. Review and you can see the settings that you have configured before submitting. Click submit when you are happy with those settings or go back to change settings. So what you can do now is once the setting has been created you can start searching so click start search. You can see that the specifics already selected in terms of the search. We can see that the source equals UDP 514 and the source type is Cisco iOS. And below you can see that these fields are highlighted based on your search. So that's simply how you configure Splunk Enterprise to be used as a syslog server for your Cisco devices. Thank you for watching.